In Word documents, tabs allow you to align text to specific locations in a document. And the tab stop is the point on the horizontal ruler that indicates the location where you want your text aligned. By default in Word, tab stops are located every half inch from the left margin. So that means, as you can see here, every time I press the tab button on my keyboard, the cursor or insertion point moves over half an inch. But we can change the way that tab stops are set to make them what we need them. So the first thing I'm going to do is in this document I'm going to um, select the list that begins here with trip dates cost because this is what I want to change the tab stop for. And looking at the horizontal ruler, I'm going to point to the tab indicator. It's over here on the left end, and you can see here that when I point to it or hover over it, it does tell me that that is where the left tab. So I'm going to click that, and that shows me um, all of the available tab and indent types. And so I'm clicking through to see my left and now if I hover over it I'm looking at the center next will be the right tab and then we get to the decimal tab and so on so I'm going to click back through until I get back to that left tab that's the one that I want active so I click there to make it active and now I'm going to click on the one inch mark on the ruler And then I'm going to click the three and a half inch mark on the horizontal ruler because that is where I want my tabs to be. Doing that has just set a tab stop, a left tab stop, at the one inch mark and the three and a half inch mark. So now I'm going to click the tab stop again to get over to the right tab icon. That's the one that's active now. And now I'm going to click on the five on the ruler to set a right tab stop for five. Now, if you look closely here, you can see that there's a little left tab mark button here under the one, and under the three and a half, that's where I set those left tab stops. And then you can see the little icon that means right tab under the five where I set, set that one. So now, I'm gonna press my, um, or place my insertion point before the word trip here in the first line of my list and I'm gonna press tab and as you can see instead of that line moving over just half an inch as it did by default the line moved over a whole inch to that first left tab so now I'm going to place my insertion point here um, before dates I'm gonna press it one more time and as you can see, it moved all the way over to that second left tab stop at the three and a half inch mark. And now I'm gonna place my insertion point before the word cost and press tab one time on my keyboard. And as you can see, it moved over um, to the five inch mark. So I did set those tab stops correctly. So now if I wanted to line these lines up with trip, I can just go and press tab one time, and then if I want to line the dates up with the dates, I can do that here, and I'm going to do the same thing for the cost. So I don't know if you have ever sat there and tried to get your spacing exactly right by pressing the space bar to get things to line up when you're creating lists or columns. It's not easy. But using tab stops, it works very, very well. And that is how you create a tab stop. Now, if I want to get a little bit fancier with my tab stops, I can click this dialog um, box launcher here in my paragraph group. And I can choose tabs. And you can see that the tabs that I set are already listed here you can see that I have chosen to have no leader lines but perhaps I want little dots after um, each of those so that they you know are 